Okay. Hello, and welcome to my home. It's a van, a Westphalia. Um, don't know what I'm going to call this channel yet. Maybe Vegan Van Man, Van of Vegan, Vega Van, and Ning. Something. I'll come, I'll come to it. Um, I just figured that I should start a channel, start a vlog. I know I'm like super late to the YouTube game, but the lifestyle calls for it. I feel like people might want to hear it, you know? Um, I live in a van. I happen to be vegan. It's been almost three years. And uh, I work as a bicycle courier. I'm into skateboarding. Uh, I do some internet DJing here and there, I guess, but so does everybody now, I guess. Um, yeah, so I just figured I could share with the world my story and my situation and how I'm living day to day and if anybody has questions on how to live this lifestyle. Um, currently, I'm in Vancouver, Canada, known to be, is kind of famous for the housing crisis that's happening here with outrageously high rent and uh, and and people living off-grid in a van as a means to survive um, I'm here by choice admittedly but yeah it's a lifestyle and it's pretty awesome to be honest and I wouldn't be here if it wasn't I wouldn't feel the need to have to share it you know um, but yeah Let's see, where to start? Um, why I have the van, even. I mean, there's a big story to this. So, long story short, I did um, lose my parents quite young, quite tragically. I'll probably have to make a separate video really going into depth into that, but for the purposes of this intro, we'll just keep it short. Um, so parents passed one at 20 when I was 20 and we were uh, giving birth to my little brother which is also complicated but uh, so we spent five years raising him up and then my father randomly passed away on his motorcycle um, yeah so kind of tough obviously very tough it's been quite a trying to my, my 20s I feel like was a write-off I just turned 30 this year trying to make a big turnaround but my 20s were a bit of a write-off you imagine when you lose a parent it's a big it's like hitting the reset button you know really really hard on your life and I got it press twice um, so you kind of gotta pick up the pieces and restart no matter what like there's no choice and uh, the second time around I ended up in Toronto displaced from my hometown of Halifax um, in Canada on the East Coast and when I found myself in Toronto I fell into some bad habits bartending the bartending scene in general tends to be pretty toxic worldwide I guess um, so it just wasn't for me so I decided to get out of it and it happened quite abruptly but basically I was just sort of sitting there thinking what was my next move what do I want to do what do I really how do I really want to live and um, the West Valley popped into my head it was I used to live well I mean my hometown next door there used to be one for years I remember always looking at it always looking at it, always looking at it it's really the only car I've ever wanted I wasn't a big driver until this and uh, you know we've done camping in another old VW so the romantic idea of it all was pretty high um, and when I bought my van I admittedly I was very uh, naive I didn't realize or take into consideration at first that these are hobby vehicles that um, people work on, you know, in the retirement as a trophy piece, you know, it's, uh, and, and the, and the young people that typically buy them have the romantic idea of this 
recapturing, you know, the spirit of the 60s and the life on the road and all that kind of stuff, which I get. I totally get. And I mean, I was definitely in that. But uh, my first thing I did with it, I, as soon as I bought it, I didn't have a wrench. I didn't know how to fix a thing on it. I took it straight to Mexico, straight from Toronto to Mexico. It took me about 12 days going through the States. Taught English in, in, in uh, the middle of Mexico for a winter, uh, which was an experience in itself. It's another video. Um, came back up through California. Came back up to the West Coast here in Canada. Did some tree planting. I'm an ex-tree planter, so did some of that. Uh, came back to Toronto with the van. It kind of went neglected for a while. Got into bike currying, and I've since last summer have re-rescued it, got it running, have come out to Vancouver to live the van life full time again. Only this time I'm kind of stationary as I've broken down permanently almost. But as you can see, it's quite quiet out there and I've managed to find about the most relaxed place ever to uh, break down. Um, and because of the housing crisis, there's really no pressure to move. I mean, the downtown east side is an inf infamous, infamous place, in East Hastings in, in Canada and in, in the world. It's known on the world stage. And if they can't do anything about the people on the street there, they're not going to do anything about the people in the vans. It doesn't really make any sense. Um, but I've found the lifestyle to be very comfortable, very cozy, very doable. And my quality of life has kind of gone up in weird ways that weren't expected and down in others. It's, it's funny. Like I, now looking back, it's almost like I feel, it feels like the first time I've disconnected from the internet since like 1998 with 56k. And now here we are in, uh, 2018 and I'm living in an 86 van with a radio that runs on batteries, no internet, no Wi-Fi, living like it is 1986. <laughs> but I feel better than ever. And, you know, having to use Wi-Fi in a cafe isn't necessarily a bad thing. And getting to know your locals and, and, and your area isn't a bad thing. And I'm discovering this. And it's probably why I'm here talking to you now. You know, I, I might not necessarily have found the motivation before when I'd lock myself away in my bedroom. And as you can imagine, losing my parents the way I did, there's, you could fall into a myriad of different vices and different bad habits and different, you know, there's a million and one reasons not to do something or to brood on something or to blame somebody or blame a system or whatever. Um, but taking responsibility for yourself and for your actions is really the best way. I mean, I don't, kind of losing my train of thought here, but, um, but yeah, maybe we should just keep it brief and keep it there. Uh, and I'll keep more videos coming soon. Cheers. Vegan Van Man.